On this episode, join us as we head into the backcountry looking for bucks. Walking in a few miles every day, hoping the weather cooperates, giving us a chance to fill our packs. Walking in solo for the first day, and no more than 10 minutes into my climb, I didn't notice a buck and a doe standing behind some trees, maybe 50 yards away. Heard a snort, looked over, and saw a boat dart over the ridge. Well, I did everything right. It went slow and stopped and stopped. But I stopped, and I couldn't see him. I don't know what it was. It was like right there, but I couldn't tell. All I heard was a snort. see them. They were right down in there. I know this is not a bad spot. One might pop out. Well, it's a sloppy mess out there. Just the snow tonight. Just rain, rain, rain. Day two, we decided to try a different spot. There was a light rain and also fog rolling in, reducing visibility. Seeing a lot of deer signs, we decided to keep going and give it a try. After spending hours in the fog and rain, freezing our butts off, decided to call it and head back to camp. Regroup and hopefully it clears later to do an evening hunt. So we're going to walk this old kind of road and just kind of check it out. Looked on the map. Looks like there's just, it's a real old one so it's all overgrown. It goes in the back, doesn't look anything else connects to it. So finally the sun came out. A little bit cloudy and there's snow in some of the mountains back there. It's like we spotted a doe way up there. Just a doe. Yeah, there's two of them. Sure not a buck in there? No. No. It's just two does. Just licking. Gonna leave them be and then come back in the morning. Gonna go check that back there, check this group again, see how they are. You never know, might be some Mr. Buck in there. It's day three, our final day. We decided to head back to the same place where we saw all the does. Hopefully, this time we find some bucks. We spotted them again up there, same spot. It is about 7.45, 7.50. If not, we just keep on going. Buck track. Right there. It's a loner. Good size. It's fresh. Spotted a buck at the highest point that you can possibly get. Probably 9,000, over 9,000 feet. And what separates us from the buck is, of course, elevation. 
and going through all these trees and going down to the creek and going back up and plus there's does in between like way down so you spook them they'll probably get spooked and they'll be gone so there's a old wolf track just one just walking this forest road old one And there's some fog coming in. Wolf was just trucking down there. And that's where the deer are. What is it? Rope? Yeah. What the hell is rope doing out here? As we were glassing, behind us we heard howling. Initially thought wolves since we heard bugling just a few minutes ago. But this time, it was coyotes. That's a lot. That's like a whole pack. We're bailing on deer. We're like, deer. Yeah. What the? Holy crap. It's like a massive pack of coyotes. Watching some deer in a pack of coyotes back there. I'm going crazy. Yeah, I don't know. First of all, I thought it was like. I get closer. Maybe I might have to shoot one. Getting back to glassing, suddenly a decent buck walks out of the timber. Going towards the doe. How big is he? Pretty good size. Well, shit. Time to make a play. Cool. The doe's came out, went back, but the buck is still sitting in the timber. We decided to move closer to get a better angle, hoping the buck will come out from the timber. We waited and waited, but he never came out again. Well, we think the buck gave us the slip from over there, up there somewhere, but who knows. I just wish we could have got visuals on it all the way through, but what can you do? We just waited, hopefully maybe he'll come out. I'm not going to have a repeat of last year. We sat there for eight hours waiting for him to come out and he never did. He probably just, probably gone. Having no idea where the buck went, we called it. Made the tough decision, the hunt was over. We always enjoy making these videos. Of course, it's always nice to finish with something in your pack. Thanks for watching and we really appreciate your support. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Shadow, this won't be fooled again.